Hey guys, Molly from The Beacon here. So I want to talk about this New York Times article that came out about a Biggest Loser study that talked about 14 people who were on The Biggest Loser and the ending outcome was that losing weight and keeping it off is near impossible and totally screws with your metabolism and your ability to take in calories. What a catastrophe. And you know about the United States of America, guys. Catastrophe is like our favorite word. And this thing blew up so big that I was sitting in session with a bunch of parents and they said to me, should we just quit treatment, Molly? Is it over? Should we just call it a day? Oh my goodness. I mean, listen, losing weight and keeping it off is really, really, really hard. Like only 5% of people do it, but there is absolutely no reason that you cannot be in those 5% of people. So first of all, that study talked nothing about macronutrients, which what's a macronutrient? Good question. Basically, 100 calories of Coca-Cola going into your body is entirely different than 100 calories of almonds going into your body. They do totally different things. They make you totally differently full. E-I-E-I-O was not even discussed in the study. A couple of other things is, there was, that was one study with 14 people. There are studies with like 135 people that show very different things. So we can't take one study and globalize it so that we're all hopeless. One more thing that I think is maybe the most important thing is that this study only talked about people eating and exercising. And a lot of these people likely fit criteria for binge eating, for food addiction, and the treatment of that is so outside the realm of food and exercise. Like you can't have a personal trainer cure a food addiction or an eating disorder. So here's what I wanna say. Do not let one study get you down. Okay, because I really think if we talked about long term sustainable solution, we could move 5% of people being successful at this to 10% of people successful at this. So I believe in you and I want to see you next week. Bye.